how much hydrogen do you require to get a result? That seems to be the question. And the second question that comes from that is, okay, but there's PPB, there's PPM, there's milligrams. How do I know what am I doing and how do I know that this product is working? So let's discuss how much your body needs first. Your body, according to all the studies that are out there, requires 0.5 parts per million per liter in order to give you a therapeutic result. So that would be 0.5 ppm parts per Per million. So then it gets a little confusing because you see something that says it has 1000 ppbs. This is parts per billion. Okay. So that's 1000 ppb or it would be 1.0 ppms. Okay. So that's 1 billion or 1000 would be parts per billion. 1.0 would be parts per million. These are the same thing. Now the milligrams is a newer one. Just one milligram is one ppm. So if you hear, oh, I have two milligrams, that would be two parts per million per liter. So what's great about healthy hydration is that our products make the minimum 0.5, but they also go up to 5.0 parts per million per liter, which would be 5,000 ppbs, parts per billion which is excellent. So now you kind of have a little cheat sheet here so you kind of understand what you're looking for out there. More is not necessarily better because it's how you use it, how your body uses it. So there is dissolved hydrogen gas, there's undissolved hydrogen gas coming from an alkaline water technology where as opposed to just hydrogen only, using electrolysis will get you dissolved in the water. So that's really what you want in order to maximize results with molecular hydrogen. There's also a lot of different tools out there on the market to test and you're going to find out they're very inconsistent. It depends on lots of different factors. If you have the drops here, you got iron in your water, it won't work. Is it too cold? It won't work. Is it too hot? It won't work. So it's kind of wishy-washy when it comes to the drops just because you don't know all the different factors. Then when you get the instruments, the instruments have to be calibrated and you have to have a solution and that's always kind of crazy doing that. So just do your best to test the products and do your best to validate the information that you're seeing online, especially when you're buying from Amazon, because there are very low quality products there, some of them, and we've tested them and they do not make therapeutic doses of hydrogen. You've got to drink a lot in order to get a result. So I hope that explains how to measure hydrogen and we'll see you in the next video.